So here's the deal. Rockstar Games just dropped a new GTA Online update called San Andreas Mercenaries. And guess what? They included a mysterious t-shirt that was available for only one hour after the update was released and then poof, it was gone. But not before some eagle-eyed fans over at GTA Net got a good look at it. Now, this wasn't just any t-shirt. It was tucked away under the GTA 5 anniversary category. The name just three question marks. Mysterious, right? But that's not even the best part. The t-shirt had this intriguing black artwork with numbers spiraling around it. And here's where the plot thickens. These numbers aren't just random, they can be deciphered using an alphabet decoder, and when you do that, you get one day will reveal all. I mean, just imagine, guys. What if that one day is the day we've all been waiting for? The day the GTA 6 trailer finally drops. And there's more. There are whispers, rumors floating around that the GTA 6 trailer could be revealed on GTA 5's 10th anniversary. Now, this t-shirt with its cryptic message being in the GTA 5 anniversary category. It's like the pieces of the puzzle are starting to fit together, right? But wait, there's even more. Along with the mysterious t-shirt, Rockstar also released some new outfits for GTA Online. But these aren't just any outfits. These are the outfits of some of the most iconic characters from the GTA series. We're talking about Michael, Franklin, Trevor, Claude, and Nico Bellic. But they didn't include outfits for all the iconic characters. Two names are conspicuously missing from the list, Tommy Versetti and CJ. Now any GTA fan worth their salt knows these two. Tommy Versetti, the protagonist of GTA Vice City, and CJ, the main character of GTA San Andreas, are two of the most beloved characters in the series. So why wouldn't Rockstar include their outfits in the update? Could this be another hint towards GTA 6? We know that Rockstar loves to tease their fans with subtle hints and easter eggs. Could the absence of Tommy and CJ's outfits be a deliberate move to stir up speculation about GTA 6? But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's take a closer look at the outfits that were included in the update. In the GTA 5 Anniversary category, there are three outfits available. The Retired Criminal, the Homie, and the Groupie. The retired criminal outfit is a spitting image of Michael's outfit from GTA 5 story. You know, the one he wears when he's not pulling off heists or getting into shootouts with the police. The homie outfit, on the other hand, looks a lot like Franklin's outfit. And then there's the groupie outfit, which bears a striking resemblance to Trevor's outfit. Now you might be thinking, so what? They're just outfits. But in the world of GTA, nothing is ever just anything. Everything has a meaning. Everything has a purpose. These outfits aren't just a nod to the past. They're a bridge to the future. They're a way for Rockstar to connect the old with the new, the past with the future. All right, let's take a step back for a moment. As exciting as all this speculation is, we need to keep our feet on the ground. It's easy to get carried away with theories and predictions. But at the end of the day, we're all just guessing. It's entirely possible that all of this, the mysterious t-shirt, the iconic outfits, the missing Tommy Versetti and CJ outfits, is just Rockstar's way of hyping up the 10th anniversary of GTA 5. After all, GTA 5 is one of the most successful video games of all time. It's sold over 180 million copies worldwide and continues to be a massive hit, even a decade after its release. So, it makes sense that Rockstar would want to celebrate this milestone in a big way. But then again, it could also be related to GTA 6. Maybe Rockstar is using the 10th anniversary of GTA 5 as a platform to tease the next installment in the series. It wouldn't be the first time a game developer has used an anniversary event to announce a new game. And given the immense anticipation for GTA 6, it would certainly be a clever move. Or maybe, just maybe, it's all just a random Easter egg for fans. Rockstar is known for their love of Easter eggs. They've hidden countless secrets and references in their games over the years, from Bigfoot sightings in San Andreas to alien invasions in GTA 5. Maybe this mysterious t-shirt and these iconic outfits are just another Easter egg for fans to discover and enjoy. But here's another twist. Besides the GTA 5 anniversary category in GTA Online clothing, Rockstar also added another category called Rockstar Anniversary. Now this is interesting because this year isn't just the 10th anniversary of GTA 5. It's also the 25th anniversary of the Grand Theft Auto series. That's a quarter of a century of carjacking, heists, and mayhem. That's a milestone worth celebrating. And one of the clothes added to this Rockstar Anniversary section is a t-shirt called Rockstar Says Relax. It's a simple white t-shirt with black text that literally says the same. 
Now, this could be a reference to the 1984 song Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood, which has been featured in previous GTA games. Or it could be a message from Rockstar to their fans. Maybe Rockstar is telling us to chill out and keep waiting for the GTA 6 announcement trailer. Maybe they're saying that good things come to those who wait. Or maybe they're just having a bit of fun with us. After all, they know how eagerly we're all awaiting any news about GTA 6. So what does all this mean? Is Rockstar teasing GTA 6? Are they celebrating the anniversaries of GTA 5 and the Grand Theft Auto series? Or are they just messing with us? As always, the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. But one thing's for sure, the speculation and anticipation for GTA 6 is more intense than ever. And with every new update, every new hint, we get one step closer to the day when one day will reveal all. Let me know in the comments what do you think about all this content in the new GTA Online update. Are these hints towards GTA 6 or just Rockstar messing with us? I think it's both, and it makes me really excited for the upcoming GTA 5 anniversary. Okay, but let's assume that GTA 6 is really going to get announced on GTA 5's 10th anniversary. What would be its release date? Well, I talked about it a few months ago in one of my previous video. A Rockstar insider named Tez2 has claimed that Rockstar has set an internal deadline of holiday 2024 for the release of GTA 6. Of course, Rockstar has not confirmed this information, and as Tez2 himself noted, this deadline has been pushed back multiple times in the past few years. It could even slip into early 2025. Tez2 further suggested that Rockstar could announce the game this year itself. He stated, I personally see an announcement as a given this year. I don't think the upper management is in a position to delay further to holiday 2025 or 2026. This suggests that Rockstar is eager to release the game and is unlikely to delay it further. But what if we look beyond this single source? I did a bit more digging online and it seems that the holiday 2024 release date is a common thread among many rumors. Another interesting piece of information cites a leak suggesting that GTA 6 is set to arrive in 2025. This leak comes from a source that previously predicted the delay that hit Hogwarts Legacy, lending it some credibility. But I don't want to believe in that. I'm pretty convinced that the game is going to be released next year. Furthermore, a recent financial report from Take-Two Interactive suggests that GTA 6 may come in fiscal year 2025, which begins on October 1st, 2024. This aligns with the information from Tez2, suggesting a potential release window somewhere around holiday 2024. Let me know what release date do you expect in the comments down below. Before we wrap up, I want to take a moment to thank all of my patrons. Your support helps a lot and it's because of you that I'm able to keep bringing you the latest and greatest GTA news. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I've got a lot more GTA 6 content on the way, and I'm sure you won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching till the end. Have a great day, everyone, and see you in the next one.